Welcome back to the watch review folks. Here we have another Pagani design. This one is the uh, James Bond 007 No Time to Die edition. Um, this watch uh, basically uh, very similar to the original uh, No Time to Die watch except for the helium escape valve. Uh, it's a really nice looking watch. This one comes with a dome sapphire crystal. Uh, it's got the black matte dial with the vintage hour markers and hands. It's got a date window at the 3 o'clock position. This one has a ceramic bezel. Also with the vintage numbers and the pit on the top. Uh, it has a 120 click uh, bezel on it. Uh, the bezel is a good bezel. It doesn't have any give. It's really good. Um, as far as the case, it's all solid stainless steel, 316L. Um, the case is very well made, uh, brushed, and some, basically it's all brushed. It's got some polishing down here. Um, very well made, uh, very smooth, no, no rough edges anywhere. It's a 42 millimeter case, so it's a good size. Uh, the crown is uh, screwed down, screwed down crown for uh, water resistance. Um, it's, uh, it's got a 100 meter water resistance on it. The back of the watch, uh, you have a uh, solid stainless steel screw down back. And then you have an exhibition uh, glass back there uh, with the Seiko NH35A movement, which is a workhorse of a movement, 24 joule hacking, and these movements really last and give a good time, and they're made by Seiko, uh, so that's the movement in the back of the watch, which is great. Uh, I think uh, Seiko NH35A, uh, as far as movements, um, you can't beat it for the price. Then um, this one comes with a Melanese bracelet. Once again, the Melanese bracelet, very comfortable, very flexible. You can adjust it to any wrist size as long as you don't have a massive wrist that is bigger than the than the bracelet itself. But uh, this is fully adjustable, you know, and uh, very well made, all solid stainless steel. Uh, really nice looking watch I'm really impressed by this particular watch here let me go ahead and try to get you a wrist shot of this watch and here's a wrist shot folks as you can see it uh, flows well on the wrist um, the brace is very very comfortable uh, it doesn't it's not bulky which is great you know um, and it's adjustable. You can adjust it to any size. Let me see if I can get you a, a loom shot of this watch. And here's a loom shot, folks. As you can see it's got green loom on the R markers. Uh, the hands are kind of bayish type of loom. Uh, not as strong as the R markers, I would say. I will put a picture of the loom so you can see the loom in, uh, in nighttime. Overall, folks, uh, this is a watch I really do recommend. Uh, it's a very well-made watch. You got a sapphire crystal, ceramic bezels, all solid stainless steel. Very comfortable. Uh, it's got that style, the James Bond look. And you can't beat it for the price. Thanks for watching the review. Please subscribe and uh, so I can go ahead and bring more content to the channel. Thank you.